everyone, so this is going to be my weight loss update. Um, a lot of people have been asking for this and have been, you know, inquiring how I'm doing and stuff with my weight loss. Um, I'm going to go into detail about my exercise plan. I haven't lost that much more weight, which is kind of funny because I've been doing a ton of exercise, but I have noticed that my clothes are starting to fit even better. And even some of the clothes that I originally showed in my first weight loss video, the I was wearing these white capri pants that were in my skinny suitcase, and I was wearing them, or a couple days ago I put them on because I was going somewhere, I was like, oh, I'll put these on because I think now they're going to fit me. So I put those on and they are actually starting to become loose on me. My my clothes are starting to fit me better and better, but the, on the scale, not much is happening. And I think what what is actually happening is that I'm starting to put on muscle because I started exercising a lot. I exercise, well, I try to do it every day, but on some days I have to take a break because my muscles are so sore and I've been doing a lot of strength and weight training. And what I've actually started doing, and a lot of people um, wanted to know about this, is I um, started P90X. Like it focuses on different areas. Like one day you'll do an hour of leg work and then the next day you can do like an hour of arms and like upper body strength. And then um, there's one that's specially designed for abs where you just work on your abs. And there's ones that are like, there are some cardio routines in there as well. Um, so I've been doing P90X for about maybe three weeks now. And for me that has been a big change because before that, as you know, might rem remember from my previous video, I was just going on the elliptical on my elliptical machine all the time. And since I started P90X, I think I've only gone on the elliptical one time <laughs> because I just got kind of bored with it. Is P90X is a really, really tough program. It's I probably wouldn't recommend it to complete beginners. If I had started it completely as a beginner like I was already doing cardio since January so when I started P90X I was already kind of had increased my fitness level a lot before I started it and actually on the website there's actually a little fitness test that you could do to see if P90X is right for you because I think if you are completely out of shape and you don't do any exercise I think it might be too tough for most people. For me, it personally would have been completely too tough. I would not have been able to do the cardio on there. I would not have been able to do any of the strength training. There's one called P90, which I haven't tried that one, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit easier. For me, P90X is great. I can't do everything on the DVD yet. Like there's, it's it's really tough. Like each, um, each DVD, like each kind of um, workout that you do is an hour long. So it takes quite a bit of dedication because you need to commit to doing an hour of exercise each time you do it, which is for a lot of people that's a long time. I'm starting to see some definition on my arms and I'm also starting to see definition on my legs. I've lost quite a bit of fat around my love handles and stomach area and I've definitely increased my strength. I actually bought some weights um, as well. These are three kilogram weights. So this is always something that I was confused about. I was always like, well, why don't they just tell us what weights we have to get as a beginner? Um, because I, it, none of the DVDs say like what weights you have to start out with. So um, I was confused about that. But actually, that's they do that because no one can tell you what is the right weight for you. You kind of have to figure it out yourself. Um, in When I bought these weights, I actually bought bigger ones first. I bought five kilogram weights. And um, they were way too heavy for me. So I went and exchanged them for three kilograms. And on now on some moves, I'm starting to feel that these are almost too light. So now I could probably work up to five kilograms. And basically I increased the amount of exercise that I do. Um, you know, I, was, I, I used to do like just the elliptical, that's all I did about three times or sometimes four times a week. And now I kind of upped it. Um, because the workouts are longer, so they're an hour each, and I try to do it at least five times a week, which I know seems like a lot, but it's just kind of like, you have to discipline yourself. You have to like say, okay, I'm gonna set that time. Um, I'm gonna set aside that time one time a day, either do it before, like really early in the morning, you know, before going to work or, or whatever you do during the day, or you do it when you get home. I personally prefer to do it in the morning because when I get home, I'm like really tired. So for me, it's done wonders. Like I have already noticed a big change um, and that's why I'm kind of not going on the scale anymore because or like I hardly go on the scale anymore because I know that 
my clothes are starting to fit me better and I am, you know, even like my skinny suitcase, some things are starting to become loose. But as I'm building muscle, um, muscles weigh more than fat, obviously. So it kind of um, doesn't fluctuate as much anymore. Nutrition wise, I've still been eating, you know, the same way that I've been eating pretty much since January. Um, I, you know, stick to a lot of proteins, and a lot of vegetables. And um, on my other channel, on my third shift vlogging channel, I will link it below. I post recipe, well not recipes, but I kind of just film myself cooking and it's not, you know, I just want to show you guys what I'm eating personally. It might not be right for everybody, like I said, um, and it's not, you know, I'm not telling you, you must eat this and blah, blah. It's just, I kind of film myself doing my own thing. And if some people get ideas from it or inspiration from it, that's great. If it's not your thing, then just don't worry about it. Do your own thing. I obviously still have areas that I want to work on. Um, you know, I still want to increase definition to my muscles and like, I want to lose a bit more fat around my stomach area. That's like the hardest part for me. I know everyone has their like problem areas and for me it's definitely like stomach area um, that's kind of where I tend to where I put on the most weight when I was gaining weight so that's kind of like really tough um, and I know it's gonna take a lot of hard work to get rid of that because it's it's just it's hard you know it is hard it is hard to get rid of those last little areas that you're not happy with but I think it's gonna be worth it and you know I feel I feel so much happier overall and it's not just because of the way I look and it's not like oh wow I'm looking a lot better it's I just feel also much more energetic and I feel healthier overall I feel I don't feel winded as much when I'm doing physical activities otherwise like if I'm you know, doing something outside. I don't get winded anymore. If I don't lose any more weight and if I don't lose any more size, I'm fine with it, you know? I'm happy where I'm at, um, but I'm actually kind of enjoying exercising. Like I'm enjoying increasing my strength and doing weights and like all these kind of things that are in P90X. I really actually enjoy it, which is, oh God, I never thought I'd be one of those people, you know, like those people who actually look forward to working out. Um, you know, on some days I'm still like, oh God, I really don't want to get out of bed and do my exercises or, you know, on the days where I just, I'm feeling tired, you know, it, it, it does take a lot of discipline to say like, okay, no, I'm going to do an hour of workout now. So I still have those days, but in general, it's something that I've just kind of gotten into routine with and I'm just enjoying it. So, you know, who knows, maybe I will drop another size, who knows, but I'm just comfortable where I'm at now and I feel, I feel so much happier, I feel more confident. Um, you know, I, obviously it is a vanity thing too, you know, you want to look good. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good and wanting to be happy with your body, whatever size it may be. You know, if you say, I want to be a size 12, like that's my ideal, then go for Keep it. Keep it realistic, but I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to look good and wanting to look in the mirror and being happy with what you see, especially when you've worked so hard to get to those results. So don't feel bad about that. Don't feel like, oh my God, I'm so vain. Like I just want to look hot and stuff. There's, it, whatever reason is right for you is a good reason, you know? And I totally encourage you guys who who are still thinking about losing weight and who just haven't, you know, made that um, jump to start, I would totally recommend you do it now because if you wait longer, if you wait another year, if you wait another two years, you're going to be even bigger probably by that size and it's going to get harder and harder for you to lose weight. So, you know, if, if you've been thinking about it for a long time, I think the best time to do it is now um, before you kind of lose hope and you just kind of get stuck with where you're at and you just kind of settle, you know? So I totally encourage you guys to do that and I hope it's been motivational or inspirational to some of you. And thanks so much for watching and thanks for, you know, following me on this journey and make sure to check out um, my other channel third shift the third shift and you know if you want to know sort of more about what I eat and stuff like that I'll have I have some videos on that on my other channel um, that you can go check out so thanks so much guys and um, that is it and I'll hope you guys have a awesome awesome day and I'll see you next time bye everyone mm -hmm.